everyone. Welcome back to Fish Hunt Northwest. We're here in the kitchen with Chef Kelly for the recipe of the week. And I see noodles. I see white wine. We're making a pasta today. Okay, finally. Yeah, we're going to yeah. make a mousse bolognese pasta. Wow, you yeah. sound excited. I, well, you know, I don't get to <laughs> cook much mousse, you know, and it's a new product, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is mousse tough normally? No, you know, mousse is a, a, a little tiny bit of gaminess to it, but, okay. uh, you know, I, I, I wouldn't say it's off-putting at all. I think it's, uh, I think yeah. it's a great, great protein. And all I right. actually tried some this morning, and I was like, wow. Oh, so just some ground mousse is yeah. what you're using. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, speaking about ground mousse, so I already have a uh, pound of ground mousse already browning up here. You can see I got a little bit of color to it. Yeah. Okay, and I have over here... I have uh, some celery, some carrots, some onions, about one of each, you know, like a rib of celery, one whole onion, and, and uh, uh, one small carrot. And then I also okay. have some pancetta in there. What's pancetta? Is Pan that like a ham or? Uh, pancetta is an Italian bacon. Oh. And it's unsmoked, and it's just delicious smelling. It does smell really good. Yeah. Okay, so I added three ounces of tomato paste. And tomato paste needs to be cooked a little bit. So you need to just kind of saute it up just a little bit. Grind it in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get it on all up. Mix Grind it all, it all up in there, yeah. Isn't this called the Trinity? That's called mirepoix. Well. The Trinity would be the Cajun mirepoix. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, I just so, remember from another time you said the right. Trinity. Yeah. So can you get rid of that pan for me? Sure. Awesome. Okay, to that we're also going to add about a big heaping tablespoon of garlic. Okay, I'm going to saute up just till I hear smell a little fragrance of it. All right. Good. So, how much did you add? Uh, a tablespoon of garlic. Okay. Okay. And to that I'm going to add off the heat. Why off the heat, chef? Because we sometimes can remind it, people? it will it will uh, flare up and light on fire. And sometimes if you're pouring, you're pouring a stream right into there and, and boom, blows up in your hand. I've only seen it happen one time, Isn't but it? you know, I don't want somebody to go, oh, Kelly, you didn't warn me. And I there warned goes you. your beard since it's longer oh, now. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. and I mean, geez. <laughs> can't, we don't want to mess, mess with, with the, that beard. Can't mess with the beard. No way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're also going to add one bay leaf. This is like the biggest bay leaf on the planet. <laughs> bay leaves need to be on your, you know, I have this in my, in my pantry. It's just okay. And that's just for flavor, though, right? Yeah. It, and then you take it out. You don't want to eat bay leaves. Yeah. If you want, if you really want to have some fun, go look up on, on Chipotle and type in bay leaf Chipotle. And there's all kinds of people who go, oh my God, I have a. A tree leaf in my in my in my uh, burrito. <laughs> it's like okay, hit the bay leaf, calm down. But it doesn't taste well. Right. Good. Okay, so yeah. that was beef stock. Okay. And uh, I use this product here. This is uh, a bouillon. That's uh, two cups of water and then about two tablespoons of the bouillon base. Okay. Yeah, this is much more flavorful than the like the carton. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I'm going to add also one cup of milk. And that seems kind of odd. I'm going to kill it all. It seems <laughs> kind of odd, but uh, uh, it has a little creaminess to it. And there you go. And that's whole milk. That's whole milk. Okay. Okay. And uh, we're going to add just a little bit of pepper. All right. Okay. And then this is going to simmer for about two and a half hours. So just simmer on low. And that's... Doesn't mean crank up the heat. So I'm guessing you already made this this morning. Oh yeah, no, we're, we're, we're gonna chat for about two and a half hours. <laughs> yeah. All good in the hood. Okay, so I already started this, that's like you said. I have it right here, I started this morning. Okay. That's gonna be going about two and a half hours. And it's, and it's super tender, ready to go. Okay, in this pan here, we're gonna have a nice hot pan. Add a little extra virgin olive oil. Okay. I'm gonna add some more garlic to start with. I mean, just a little bit more. One more? No, I'm good. All right. 
Okay. Okay, then we're gonna add a nice big ladle of our bolognese. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. I think that's maybe, a hot pan. Maybe two ladles. It smells so mm. delicious. Right, okay. And we're gonna add about two handfuls. So this is my- And what kind of noodles are those? These are Paffardelli, uh, Paffardelli noodles. And, uh, Paffardelli. Yeah. And all I do is I pre-cook these and then I toss them a little bit of uh, olive oil to uh, uh, keep them from sticking together. Okay. I mean- And those are um, al dente. Yes. Yeah. And make you sure you cook them. don't overcook those. Yeah, because yeah. You know, they're gonna have a little bit of cooking here. Okay. Nice, big, wow. healthy spoonful of butter. Of butter. About butter. Uh, two tablespoons of grated parm. Okay, here, and here's one of the other uh, secrets of, of Italian chefs is that they actually save and use their pasta water. Why? Because... They save their pasta water. They save some of their pasta water because Inside the pasta water it has a little bit of salt. It has a little bit of starch from the pasta that releases. Oh. Yeah. Look at, I learn something new every day from you. That's right. <laughs> I'm gonna start charging next. Oh yeah. We're gonna add just a little bit more parm. I'm gonna kill this. So three tablespoons of parm. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay, and just we'll wait for this to come together. And if you want a little creamier, you can add a little bit more butter, and I am going to add a little more butter. Just a Took touch. it away from you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Definitely. See, it has a little splurging. bit of creaminess now to it, a little bit of, you know, flavor from the parm and salt from the parm. And we're gonna finish just with a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. Get mm. your workout in. All right, and we're good. Good to go. It's nice looking pasta too. Right? Yeah. And we're just gonna garnish with a little bit of shaved parm on top. A little bit of chives. A little bit more. Yeah. A little chives. You Look really that. chopped those things. Wow. Can you smell oh, that? Yes, I can. Yeah. <laughs> so while we dig into this, because I really am going to eat the heck out of this one. Right, no more keto. <laughs> we'll go ahead, no more. <laughs> we'll go ahead and throw it back to you guys in the studio.